So this is Zero Gravity out of Pennsylvania. We've got Alana, Allison, Paige, and Brooke. And as we mentioned before, you increase the number of jumpers in any event, that increases the likelihood or possibility for a miss. We're going to see a nice stack there. Stack there we go. Good. good. Okay. Into a sub on the forearms. Yep, with the elbows. The train tracks made it back. <laughs> okay, we got a nice switch on the back. Look at that. Very nice. And you can really see their creativity. You can tell the groups we really take the time to put the little creativity spots in the routine. We've seen a lot of thought put into these routines. Absolutely. And a frog over the push-up, not easy. Good. That's a good setup. And I hope you're watching the turners. I know we said it before, but you gotta watch them. Some good switches. Into some doubles. And a quad, nice. Okay, switching places in the frog. You know, what separates the good routines from the great routines is they can continue to move forward without breaks. This is a super ending Very to this nice. routine. Got excellent job. Yeah, and just to be able to retain your composure yeah, through mistakes, because they happen to us all. You may have your great day today, no misses, but the next year or the year after that, you're going to have to deal with mistakes at some point. Absolutely. And then sometimes when you do make a mistake, this is also in life, if you can recover from that mistake, it actually makes your routine that much more impressive. Yep. It definitely adds to like the build sort of and you know, can, right. they, can they recover or they're going to let it kind of you know, right. you know, hurt them. Can they save it? I, lo I love when tricks get saved. That, that yeah. is amazing. That's so exciting. As a spectator and as an athlete who has worked through those misses right. or near misses, 